welcome to another stint of adventures in Eagle Territory. And so what we are looking at right now is Columbia. She is taking a bath. We couldn't resist uh, catching this moment right here. She actually just hopped in her tub about a minute or two ago. So we wanted to uh, capture that moment. What you are gonna see is her kind of dunking her head, dunking uh, all of her feathers and getting them all wet. We change out that water every single day to make sure that our birds have nice clean water for them to uh, make messy for us again. A lot of times people ask with these tubs, are they there for drinking or for bathing? And they are actually there for both reasons. Um, drinking is not a huge necessity for eagles. And in fact, they get 80% of the water they need from the food they eat. And so most of the time what they're using that tub for is exactly what you're seeing Columbia do right now, which is bathing. Now something too is that she may not always look like she's doing a whole lot. She actually is just kind of standing there. But that's really important because eagles feet, as Jared talked about with perching, are very, very sensitive. And so what she's doing, even just by standing in that tub, is helping get off any extra skin and help keeping her feet looking picture perfect. And so that is very important. <laughs> You'll see her kind of dunk those tail feathers and dunk in her uh, wing feathers. As you've probably noticed if you've been keeping track of the National Eagle Center, we love to post videos of Columbia taking baths. Mostly because she is our largest bird and while she does fit in that tub, she doesn't like to sit the way that she fits in that tub. And so she usually, for whatever reason, tends to like to back up into that corner or even sit the opposite way that her head and tail are on the short ends of the tub. Don't know why, it's just the way that she feels most comfortable. A lot of times people ask, how do they bathe? And they bathe just like the bluebirds do in your, in your bath back home. It's just super sized. And so you'll see her dip her head, you'll see her dip her wings, and just kind of try to run water over every part of her to make sure that those feathers stay nice and healthy. These birds are not made to be necessarily water birds. They are called fish eagles because fish is the main staple of their diet out in the wild. However, a lot of people don't realize that bald eagles are not designed to actually get very wet. And so even when she decides to get out of that water, you'll see that those feathers are dripping, sopping wet. That water doesn't necessarily just roll off like it does with other, other waterfowl or even the osprey, which is a similar uh, raptor that does eat fish just like the eagle does. Ospreys are designed to actually dive under the water. Bald eagles are not. And so when they take a bath, like what you're seeing Columbia do right here, they have to make sure that they are safe and feel comfortable because they're gonna be drying out for quite a while. Columbia is one that's pretty notorious for taking quite a long bath of about 20 minutes and then sitting out for hours, drying out the rest of the day. This is one of Columbia's favorite activities too, by the way. She is one that doesn't take baths every single day like some of our other bald eagles. However, when she does take a bath, she's pretty dedicated, so she'll be in there for quite a while. If any of you ever have taken video or seen photos of our birds taking baths or getting uh, getting wet themselves, feel free to post them and tell us your stories. We hope that you are staying safe for this time of year and we hope to continue giving you these videos every single day so that you can see what our birds are up to. Again, thank you so much for joining us in Adventures in Eagle Territory. We hope to see you again tomorrow.